everyone welcome back to my channel once more yes lest I forget if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed please go ahead and hit the subscription button and also the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload any of my videos and also to my old subscribers you're welcome once more so I'm going to show you guys how I do feeding corn rolls for a toddler so we're gonna do braids first before we do the feeding corn rolls like a kind of three step then uh, feeding braids before the main base of the hair so without further ado let's just get started <laughs> So hey guys, you're welcome back. So here I have my expression in which I'm going to work with. Uh, and also it's in color 350. It's like kind of red wine color. And I'm going to cut that uh, into four. Yeah, I'm going to cut that into four. First of all, I'm going to cut it into two. So I'm going to use this hair cream yeah totally want to get this here in europe so i brought this from africa i barely use that i still have much left muna hair food so guys i'm going to work with this uh comb i, I like this comb so much very easy to comb through and also i'm going to use rat tail comb it's not too sharp at the edge you know, the tail is not so sharp so i'm going to use scissors and uh, also i'm going to use this needle you might be wondering what am i going to use this needle for i'm going to use it to roll the hair because my rat tail comb is not like too okay for me so i make use of the comb so let's get started so here guys you can see how far i've gone for the hair at the down of the hair the base uh, underneath I have some braids going on right here and also I'm starting to do the feeding uh, corn roll so I've made two already so I'm just showing it to you guys that have braids under and have to go with the corn roll uh, bees so that is it so let's get started and see so guys, I'm taking a tiny, little, tiny hair to start from the beginning. Then I braid like two, three times for that about just to get ready to feed it. And I had it to eat just like so. So watch me what I do. I'm gonna weave that, control that. I take another one, I feed in, cross it over, take it to the other side, then I bring it underneath the corn roll. So this is how I've been doing my feeding corn rolls. So I have about four or five to feed in into it, and I start my rolling because I don't want it to look so bulky it's only look tiny at the beginning because I use tiny hair from the beginning so from the tiny it will be coming bigger and bigger and so that's it so that's how I have been going through the con roll and just finish braiding the tip so you guys can see at the end I just continue like that yeah like like so like so and um, she has not been so stable anyway <laughs> it's not easy to deal with toddler so guys you can see I'm almost uh, gone I'm almost I'm almost through with the feeding which is the second step remember I told you the first step is the braids the second step is the feeding 
corn roll so that's how i've been doing it and uh, i just continue like that like so i go in again across the other one to the other side to my left hand side i bring it underneath then i continue unrolling the hair i take another one cross it like that like so and i take it and throw it to the other side to my left hand side then i put it underneath so this so this is how i've been unrolling the hair it's so easy guys it's so easy because you might just sit down and think that am i gonna spend fortunes going to the hair salon to get my kids hair done you just sit in the house and make their hair and you're done so guys uh, i'm trying to round up here and let's see what we have gotten it's not easy working with toddler i tell you <laughs> actually she took a break yeah she really did took a break for some time so guys you can see the side the right hand side i've finished that side so i'm going to start the other side yeah it's so beautiful so beautiful so guys you can see the other side i'm through with the second step of the hair so i'm going to walk with the last hair which is the base so i'm going to start from the back like so you can see me use a needle here because i feel needle this needle it's much more easy for me to use now i'm using um the the head of the needle so it won't hurt her unlike using the main uh, sharp edge i didn't i didn't use that side so guys i'm gonna start from the back like so just the way i did uh the second step i'm going to do the same here the same feeding con rolls and i'm going to take it to the side i'm taking it to the left hand side because i looked at her face and tried to get which side i have to go so now guys you can see this is the last section of the hair yeah we are kind of through here so this is the last section of the hair so i indeed also took a little break because it's not easy like i rightly said working with toddler <laughs> so this is what i've been doing fitting those in and we are almost through with the hair she loved her hair so much guys you can see it's very easy you can easily do it for your daughter mainly 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 sometimes it's good for summer season this kind of s style is good for summer but it's cold out here so she has to just use uh, a winter cap to cover her head to school so but we are very much close to spring anyway so it's not really that cold as it was uh, last month so guys this is the last uh, section of the hair I can't believe I uh, indeed try and finish this hair guys <laughs> it's not easy but it's worth it so guys the next um, section is for us to dip those ends into water hot water so it won't unravel so i just give her kind of big towel and also i use a small towel to hold that so she will not get burned yeah so that is it guys it's very 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 hot but she's used to it whenever i'm dipping her hair into hot water she just stay calm because i told her if you move you'll get burned so she's used to it very very much so guys i'm going to the other side i dip this hair uh three times i took one section i dip it inside the water and i took another section the middle part 
and I dip that into the hot water so the hair will not unravel so that is it so I just take the hair into my hand with a towel and I just like so some seconds in the hot water then I, it burns it hurts but I have to yeah so I've done the second part now I'm going to the third part you can dip everything inside the hot water it will not be okay so I just did it like um, section by section like 10 10 um, pieces like that so that is what I did so now this is the last part in which I'm dipping inside the water Hey guys, my mom has finished making my hair. Do you like my hair? If you like it, then give me a big thumbs up. Bye!